Today on Cassava Matters, we shall be talking about how to plant cassava to get the best results in terms of weed control and optimum yield at harvest time. To be sure that you are ready to plant your cassava, you must have prepared your land according to the recommendations of the six steps to cassava weed management toolkit. Now that you are ready to plant, consider the following questions. Are you going to plow, make ridges or mounds? Are you planting a cassava stem of improved variety that will guarantee optimum yield? How much space do you plan leaving between each cassava stem as you plant? How would you plant to get the best result? To answer these questions and more, let's join Godwin Atza, Digital Extension and Advisory Services Specialist with IITA. Welcome to another episode of Cassava Matters. In today's episode, we'll be discussing how to plant cassava. If you want to plant cassava, there are a few things that you have to take into cognizance. One of the first things you need to do is to get a good site uh, for growing cassava. Site selection is very key. And for you to get good yield from your cassava, you need to get a site that is uh, loamy or sandy loamy soil. Uh, those are the kind of soils that are best for cassava production. And the other thing that you have to consider that is uh, you should select a site that is not waterlogged, a site that is not stony, uh, a site that is not very shallow, uh, a site that uh, it is not on a slope. Once you get that done, then you are on the journey of success in cassava cultivation. Another thing that you have to look at is the vegetation. When we talk about the vegetation, it's very important because it determines the kind of weed control that you will employ uh, while growing your cassava. You have to look at the types of weeds that are there. Is it weeds that are grasses or weeds that are broad leaves? Is it weeds that are perennial or weeds that are annuals? This will now inform the kind of operations that you will take. Today, our discussion is going to focus more on how to plant cassava and what to do when you plant your cassava. We are on a field that we have just planted, uh, and this field, uh, as you can see, is uh, more than two weeks old now, and the cassava has started sprouting. In this case, the farmer chose not to make ridges. The challenge, as we can see, is that sometimes getting the stems aligned on a straight line is a challenge. Uh, if you don't want to have that challenge, then you go for region, which also has its own advantage in terms of yield increases. Planting cassava should be done when the soil is moist. Um, that is when you can plant your cassava. Uh, and then you should cut the stems, uh, say 25 centimeter long, uh, just like the one that I'm holding. Um, you can now cut them into pieces and you plant. The next question is, what should be the spacing that I should give in order to plant my cassava? And here, what we inform a farmer on the spacing is a function of what he intends to use the cassava for. For instance, if a farmer intends to use, um, to grow the cassava uh, for stems or for seeds, as you can see on this field, this field was actually planted with the vision of growing cassava for uh, seeds. Then you plant your cassava at 1 meter by 0 0.5 uh, meters. That should be the spacing. Now, if your aim of planting cassava is to have roots of the cassava, then your planting spacing should be 1 meter um, apart by 0 0.8 meters. That should be the spacing. Now, as I said earlier, this has a lot of implications. It will affect your yield and also affect your weight control. So you have to be very careful um, the type of spacing that you are going for. Now, after you plant your cassava, the next thing you have to do is to apply a pre-emergence. 
Um, the pre-emergence, the good thing about it is that it will delay the germination of weeds, but it will not have anything to do with the cassava itself. So, once you plant your cassava, within 24 hours, you should endeavor to apply a pre-emergence. And what kind of pre-emergence should you go out for? For cassava or cassava maize intercrop, you should think of three options. One, you may decide to go for lagon at 1.25 liters per hectare to apply immediately after you plant. And of course, the soil must be moist. Or you can go for Vigo. Vigo is also another pre-emergence that you may consider. And that you can um, apply four liters per hectare. Or you may choose to apply prime extra gold. Uh, this is another pre-emergence that you can apply immediately after planting your cassava. Now, after you have done that, then you can take a break and rest for two to three weeks. The next thing you have to do is, uh, between two to three weeks, you should consider replacement. And replacement or gapping, as we uh, call it sometimes, is very important in cassava. Because in most cases, when you plant your cassava, you will discover that not all the stems will germinate. So in case you are losing uh, two out of ten uh, stems that you have planted, that means by implication that you are losing about 20% of your planting. So you need to replace that. If not, this will affect about 20% of your yield. And as you can see, there are some places that the cassava did not actually uh, sprout. So we are going to do replacement. And the replacement is going to be done, um, for instance, um, if you look at this, it has sprouted here and here, but here it failed to sprout. So I'm going to use this to actually replace here because this is that. So this is just what you need to do. Uh, and once you do that, uh, then you get your right population. If you don't do the replacement on time, it also has its own disadvantage. And the disadvantage is that the other cassava that have grown, that have sprouted, they will grow, and the share that they will produce will also affect the other one. So you must make sure that you do your gapping at two to three weeks. On this field that we are standing on, what the variety that the farmer has planted is known as TME 419. And that is the variety that the farmer chose to plant because it's one of the varieties that is in demand by industry. Uh, so um, you should always go for improved varieties. There are several of them. There's another one that is known as Dixon. There's another one that is known as Ayaya. There's another one that is known as um, uh, Fine Face um, and several others, even Sunshine. So you can choose from any of these variety based on what you intend to do with your cassava after planting. The journey continues next week when we'll begin to answer questions on quality cassava stems of improved varieties. Let us take a look at how these recommendations on planting fit in the six steps to cassava weed management and best planting practices toolkits. Nje ofe gbin ege ki o si jere repete. Awon igbese mefa ti o ran olowo ni yi ati je ki ala re wa si imuse. Igbese kini wa ile to ba lora ti ko dagun ti ki se ile omi ile okuta tabi ile lile. Igbese keje ti gbo ba kun fun opolopo igi koriko ati awon eka igi to pewe daada to se tayo ohun ti owo je ero apako le ka. Ge igbo na lule ki o se pa oko na to ba si je pe igbo na kun fun koriko ti ki kuboro bi ekan bere tabi esu akintola igi anamo to gagogoro 
tabi yele yiti won pe ni ma fowo kan mi ati bebe lo ta won bu won ibaga ju nkan ti owo ja ero apako le kalo gi won lule ki o si se suru fun bi ose meji ko fi bere si ihu pada igbese keta fi ogun apako eya glyphosate fun apere round up turbo touch down 40 ni odi won bi a se ko sara ogun apako na ati gbogun ti awon koriko ti won ese hu latari ba se gi won le tele fin odi won ogun apako glyphosate si oku ti koriko ti ki ku boro to wa lori e to ba ti gaju iwon ese batakun lo leyin eyi se mi fun nkan bi ojo merin la gbako ki ogun apako glyphosate yo fi le pa awon koriko na ku fin fin igbese kerin pipa o ko je igbese to gbo lori gan ni sugbon ta ba se bo sito o ma nje kere oku ege ko po re pete ta ba tu ile lona to to o ma nje ki ege o ta daada o kere ju ni won tonu marun lori sare oku kan afiti ere ori tonu marun ba ju ye ta fe pa sare oku kan lo lo ye ki agbe ogbiyanju ati pa oku lona ta ala kale yi ki ko ibe sori oku ma nje ki ege o ta daada ti kore sare kan o si tobi tonu merin gbiyanju ki o ko ibe sori oku re ti ere ori tonu merin ege lori oku na ba ju ye ti a fe fi ko ibe sori oku na lo o dara ki agbe o ko ibe to ba sakiyesi pe ile na le je ile alamo tabi ta ba pinu lati kore oku na lasiko erun tabi ti awon epo ori oku na ba je ile yi to soro pa igbese kanun gbe ege tabi gba guda nigba ti ile ba tutu ni won ese bata bi meta meta sira won 1 meter by 0.8 meters tabi 0.7 meters leyin yi fin ogun apako bi prime extra gold ni odi won liter merin fun sare oku kan tabi lagon ni odi won liter ole ida merin fun sare oku kan laarin wakati merin le logun leyin ta ti gbe ege tabi gba guda sinu oko e ma fin ogun apako sori ile bigbe e pa ro gba guda ti ko ba hu jade laarin ojo meedogun si ojo mokan le logun igbese kefa nigbati koriko ba ti hu to ida ogbon ninu ogorun loko re ti won ti nlewe merin si mefa lori fi ogun apako to n pa ewe fin fin lona igbalode pelu ro lowo ero ta fin fin oko tabi ona to ba rorun fun o ninu oko ti grass ba po lapoju fi ogun apako grass fusilled 40 e won liter meter fun sare oko kan fin koriko grass ya be ewe ege nigbati ege na ba ti n pe ose mejo tabi ju be lo sugbon ti ege o ba ti to ose mejo ti grass tabi koriko ilewe mira fi hu nbe fi owo tu awon koriko na lati de na ki ogun apako kan igi ege ati ewe re ninu oko ti koriko ba wa poju fin glufosinate ammonium lifeline basta fascinate ni won ti o wa lara pa le odi won re ale fin glyphosate in round up turbo touch down 40 ati be be lo ni ona ti a ti la kale lara pa le ogun apako na o se pataki ewe ati fi nkan idabobo senu ero ta fi fi oko ki ogun apako ma kan ara ege na ko ma ba ba je ti ege o ba ti to ose mejo ti oko na se ko fun koriko ti we won fe daada fi owo tu awon koriko na kuro ma fin ogun apako kan si oko lodo odun tori pe eleyi le fa ki ogun apako ko ma sise mo to watch missed episodes and other useful cassava weed management videos, go to our YouTube channel, Cassava Matters, and our social media handles on Facebook and Twitter. For questions, comments, and inquiries, please use the following contact details on your screen. We'll be glad to hear from you.